Hi, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, one person is injured after a shooting around midnight this morning in Chattanooga. It happened on Kirby Avenue, just a block away from Tennessee Temple University. WRCB reports that the extent of the injuries are unclear. We'll have more details at timesfreepress.com as they're available. A chained prisoner was forgotten about in a holding cell at the Bradley County Courthouse. Nathaniel Caldwell spent 18 hours in the dark, small cell with no food, water, or bathroom. And just 10 feet away, the Bradley County Republican Party held its regular meeting in the courtroom, but no one heard a thing. Caldwell had been in court Tuesday to plead guilty to misdemeanor theft and was placed in the holding cell around 3.30 p.m. But the arresting officer apparently forgot to tell anyone to come get him. And the guards apparently never checked the cell before the courthouse closed. Caldwell was discovered when the courtroom was opened up the next morning. Authorities say he was unharmed and is due in court today. Hamilton County Circuit Court Judge W. Neal Thomas is on leave as he's being treated for alcohol abuse. Thomas has been off the bench for six weeks. Last week, Judge Jeff Hollingsworth said Thomas was absent due to undisclosed medical conditions. Now Thomas tells us that his family staged an intervention April 13th and he entered inpatient treatment in Birmingham. He says that in recent years he was stressed out by prostate cancer and a life-threatening infection. He says his drinking outside of work hours had gotten out of control. It wasn't until the intervention that he realized the depth of the problem. The 69-year-old judge returned home this past weekend. He's continuing outpatient treatment for another six weeks, followed by regular check-ins for the next year. Thomas will remain on leave for up to two more months. Three 18-year-old Calhoun High School seniors charged for their roles in an alleged rape after the school prom are out of jail. Fields Chapman, Andrew Haynes, and Avery Johnson all left prison on bonds of $51,000 each. They've been charged with aggravated sexual battery and underage possession of alcohol. The charges come after a senior said she was raped by multiple men and passed out. The attack happened during a party May 10th at Kusawati River Resort in Ellijay. Gilmer County Sheriff Stacy Nicholson says the crime happened in a bedroom and that other students saw the crime but did not try to stop it. The three men may also eventually be charged with rape. They were arrested for sexual battery, meaning they allegedly inserted a foreign object into the victim against her will. Investigators don't yet have proof about whether the men also had sex with her. The GBI is still examining forensic evidence. The sheriff says the victim's injuries were substantial, some of the worst he's ever seen. He also says his office plans to charge every student who drank alcohol at the party. Chapman, Haynes, and Johnson all played sports at Calhoun. Chapman was a quarterback on the football team. Haynes played wide receiver, and Johnson was a pitcher on the baseball team. The three faced 25 years to life in prison. One of America's top young cyclists has undergone a second surgery after an accident during the USA Cycling National Championship on Monday. Taylor Finney was likely traveling 60 to 70 miles per hour down Lookout Mountain when he crashed. He slid into a guardrail during a sharp left turn on Scenic Highway. His left leg was broken, the tibia and fibula were fractured, and his knee was injured. He's since been recovering at Erlanger Hospital. But now questions are being raised about what caused the crash. Another racer, Lucas User, says he and Taylor came up on a motorbike and perhaps a car. He claims the moto was swerving back and forth and forced both of them straight into the guardrails. USA Cycling President Steve Johnson says race officials are looking into reports that race vehicles were involved in the accident. He says an investigation is ongoing. Finally, two people have been arrested after 50 cattle were stolen in North Alabama. 28-year-old David Grant Fulmer of Collinsville and 31-year-old Eddie Ray Fulmer of Albertville have been charged with theft of property. Officials say the animals could be worth up to $80,000. Authorities say some of the stolen property has been recovered, but that the investigation is continuing. Turning to weather, today will be partly sunny with a high near 88 degrees and a 30% chance of thunderstorms after noon. The low tonight will be around 66. That's it for today's newscast. 
Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.